Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at something really cool and something I've been wanting to get my hands on for a little while now. This is Watchy. It's a do-it-yourself e-ink smartwatch and you can get one of these for about $50 and they do offer other accessories like an aluminum case that actually looks like a Game Boy. I've got one on the way but it didn't come in with the kit. This is the base Watchy kit and this is coming to us from a company called SQFMI. I'm personally not huge on smartwatches, but since this is a really cool little do-it-yourself project with an e-ink display, I really wanted to see if I could, you know, kind of get used to using one of these or just having it on. And yeah, I mean, packaging here is definitely top-notch. Uh, got all the instructions right here, and under this little leaflet, we do have all of the parts that come included with Watchy. I've seen some of the older kits come with a fabric band, but this one does have a rubber watch band with it, and I think it just uh, looks a little better. And everything you need to get up and running comes included with the kit. And this does have firmware pre-installed. You can always update it from their website if you want to. But I'm going to be using the stock firmware in this video. And I'm going to be messing around with it for about a week. If I get used to it or, you know, I find some really cool stuff with it, I might make another video. Plastic housing and buttons with this kit. Like I mentioned, we get that rubber watch band. The battery. And by the way, this actually will get around five to seven days of battery life, even with Wi-Fi enabled, so you can fetch new data. But the main claim to fame is this beautiful 200 pixel by 200 pixel e-ink display. It looks really good. And of course, we've got the main board with four physical buttons. It also has a vibration motor built in, and this is all powered by an ESP32 Pico D4. It's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it's compatible with Arduino, MicroPython, and ESP-IDF. I'll personally be using Arduino, but like I mentioned, this does come with pre-installed firmware, which can get you up and running in no time. Assembly is pretty straightforward. We've got the battery, mainboard, and the display. First thing we want to do is attach this e-ink display. So we're going to use this ribbon cable connector here. We're going to feed this right through one of those cutouts on the PCB and just slot this ribbon cable right in. Make sure it's nice and snug. We're actually just gonna fold the screen over on top of the PCB. Since I'm gonna be using the included plastic case, I don't need any adhesive, but keep in mind it does come with some adhesive just in case you wanna use the uh, main board and the screen like that with the band. The next thing we need to do here is install the battery. Super simple process. Go ahead and just plug it right in, and all of this is going to sit right in the case. This is a really nice little setup. I'm actually really impressed by how well this is put together. We've got the screen, we've got the main board, we've got the battery, everything's functional. Definitely want to test it out before you install it inside of the case, and I do this a bit different from the instructions. They actually tell you to install the back half of the case first, but I find installing the front is the way to go at least for me. We can fit that screen in there, make sure everything's lined up. It'll kind of snap right in there. And uh, once we have that, we can actually move to the back half of the case. This has four physical buttons that we need to install. And that's one of the big reasons I like using this front half first. Makes it a lot easier so they don't kind of fall out while you're snapping everything together. Just need to kind of slot them right down in here. We can take that back half of the case, line everything up, and snap it into place. We now have the main bread and butter of Watchy assembled. Now it's time to add the band. And it looks a little something like this. Now, personally, I do like the design. If you want to go with an Apple Watch or, you know, a Google Pixel Watch or something like that, it's totally up to you. But this is really all I need. Even in broad daylight, you can see this display without an issue, any angle you want to go with. Now, the only downside is in dark situations, it is a bit hard to see, especially when it's really dark. From the settings, we can enable Wi-Fi, test out the vibration motor, check out our software information, and uh, you can update this firmware pretty easily. Overall, really liking Watchy so far, digging the design here, and from the main interface, we've got the time, there's a stepometer, we've got the date, Wi-Fi status, battery indicator, and local temperature, which is all I really need in a smartwatch. If you're interested in learning a little more, I'll leave some links in the description, and you can always add a different case, they offer those. Uh, they have some watch faces over on their uh, website that you can download with custom firmware installs, and you can also customize or make your own face if you wanted to. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thought it was a cool little project. Wanted to show it off. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.